don't understand Puff's perspective. Because I know what it's like to have my man. Puff. It's true, and you know I'm not doing it alone. Yeah. We can have a game with that. That's what we're doing. I can't wait. Collective. I can't wait. Is there has been negative propaganda put out about me that's not true. And now, would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> See? And then he went on to reveal that he wasn't moving the way Diddy was moving, if you know what I mean. He said, talking about if he could leave his kid at Puffy Camp. He said, yo, let me tell you a little something about T.I.'s Instagram Live. It wasn't just lit because it had a bunch of famous peeps on it. It was because Diddy came through looking like he had won too many drinks and started acting crazy AF. And let's not forget about that film that was circulating, adding fuel to the fire that Diddy might just be a bit on the fruity side. But hey, we ain't judging. We all have our quirks, and if Diddy wants to get wild and crazy when he's feeling a little tipsy, who are we to stop him? I mean, let's be real, this dude is the party king of Hollywood. He's been throwing epic shindigs since the 90s, and if he wants to indulge in a few too many adult beverages, it's no surprise he might get into some trouble. But hey, that's just part of the fun, right? Sure, I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, you my daddy, yeah, I like when you're oh, you scrambling right and scraping for no, no, shit. No, 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 so picture this, Diddy rolls up to drink champs with Nor Fantastic and Jadakiss, looking like he's already had a few too many drinks. And things start to get uncomfortable real quick. He's calling one of the guys daddy and making everyone feel a little uneasy. But Diddy, he's completely oblivious to the fact that he's making things weird. And then there's Fab. Diddy's saying he's never partied with him, even though Fab swears he was at his birthday bash. It's all a bit suspicious, if you ask me. Especially considering the fact that Drink Champions is all about drinking and having a good time. And Diddy was definitely doing a little too much of that. He was so wild that he even did some things that had people raising eyebrows. But even with all that going on, Diddy managed to make a new friend at the party. Unfortunately for him, though, Diddy's attention was elsewhere and he wasn't too keen on the person's non-stop craziness. But at least the guy was nice enough to buy Diddy a drink. It was clear that Diddy had been partying hard and his fellow performers were definitely aware of it. In the alarming interview, Gene claimed that he and Diddy went to a foreign bookstore. So back in the early 2000s, seconds, Diddy was feeling a little tipsy and decided to hit up a store with his friend Gene. And what did he buy, you ask? Oh, just a bag full of sex toys, including some butt plugs. Yeah, you read that right. Now, most people would find this a bit strange, but not Diddy. When Gene asked him why he was buying butt plugs, Diddy responded by asking if he could put them in himself. I what? But the crazy antics didn't stop there. Diddy decided to ship the sex toys to North Carolina for a concert, and he and Gene were drinking champagne the whole flight there. And once they arrived, things got even more scandalous. Gene tried to talk Diddy out of paying a surprise visit to fellow rapper Ja Rule's hotel room, but Diddy was determined. And before he knew it, Gene found himself standing outside Ja Rule's apartment while Diddy and Ja were inside, just the two of them. I mean, what can you even say to that? Diddy sure knows how to keep things interesting, that's for sure. So apparently, Gene walked in on Diddy and Ja Rule in a hotel suite, and things were definitely not what they seemed. When Gene asked what was going on, Ja Rule warned him not to come any closer. And that's when things got really weird. According to Ja Rule, there was some kind of commotion going on inside the suite, and when they finally emerged, both men were only wearing towels. But that's not the craziest part, apparently, there were also butt plugs involved. Yeah, you heard me. Towels and plugs? Oh my. In other family drama news, it looks like the game and his older brother Big Face 100 are still not seeing eye to eye. According to Game, they had a major disagreement about money and have been going their separate ways ever since. And when the game talked about their strained relationship on a recent episode of Drink Champions, things took a turn for the even messier. After the show, Big Face 100 posted a photo on Instagram that he later deleted, suggesting that he and the game were more than just brothers and that the game's success in the rap world had more to do with their personal relationship than his own talent. Yikes, family drama is always tough, but this is next level. Big Face 100 caused a stir when he posted a photo of Diddy hugging the game from behind and added the cryptic comment, maybe it wasn't my street credibility. This seemed to hint that there was something more than a platonic friendship between the two rappers. Adding to the speculation, 50 Cent spoke out in 2018, claiming that Diddy's sexuality is more diverse than he publicly portrays it. He went on to suggest that Diddy and Rick Ross are actually gay but are pretending to be straight. Despite the ongoing rumors, both Diddy and Ross identify as heterosexual. Although Big Face 100 eventually deleted his suggestive tweet, the damage had already been done. Many were left wondering if he knew something about his brother's relationship with Diddy that the public didn't. One fan on Twitter wrote, If I was Diddy, I wouldn't explain shit to y'all. At this point, I'm a 53-year-old gay man with a bad bitch and a newborn. 
flat out. Another added, you know, Diddy's personal guard says he's gay, so this makes complete sense. But remember that the video relies on conjecture and my opinion rather than hard proof. And on that note, we'll see you next time.